Pete is in the diary room. Hello, Pete. Hi. Um, I just want to address something on compassionate grounds. I feel really bad because Chantal last night couldn't sleep because she's running out of foundation. And she's really, really twitched out about it. And I don't mean on a trivial level. She's traumatised. Dennis, George and Pete are in a spa. Those two think they've got it all sussed. And there's nothing more annoying than a child who thinks that they've got everything worked out. The kids, and it's actually, I think they're young for their age. Yeah. My God, if I was left behind in this house with children, <laughs> I would combust. I'd have to get sleeping pills and just sleep through it. I couldn't do it. But, uh, you know, keep it in perspective, it's a public opinion thing. But the stops are out in the youth contingent now. You know, if it doesn't go that way, <clears throat> everything will uh, change. Yeah. Michael's got diplomatic immunity because he's brandished a pan for 24 7. He's a troubled guy. Comedians are often yeah. unhinged. They scare me. What you can say about Michael is he's not as nice as he looks. Okay. Oh, go away, Tracy. Hi, guys. It's my outfit for the day. Oh, I'm nothing exciting to wear. Jimmy Savile will be very pleased. At least Potato been... skins for Michael. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. You can pass around. Dennis, what do you think? Fab? I always see you like that, so... Okay. Enjoy. Your potato skin. She's gone slightly crazy, no? Mm. Dennis and Pete are in a spa. I've had Tracy change the clothes twice more today. Oh, absolutely. kidding. She's got her lashes on as well. Yeah, I'll play for the cameras. Today, the housemates will be given their final shopping task. Maggot, Pete and Dennis are in the spa. I'm feeling really angry with Preston because of what he's wearing. I feel like slapping him in the back of the neck. Do you think he's designed to do that? Yeah, probably. It really, it's, it's like really authoritative to me and I feel like slapping him. <laughs> George is highly pierced. Do you think so? I know, yeah. I, I haven't hardly seen him today. He's hardly pissed with his... <laughs> Was he pissed off because he didn't I think, get the chance to nominate, or...? I think both, but I think that because of it, I, I don't understand the political implications of it, but I think it's a point to prove that his opponents in whatever realm of politics he's in will be like, yes, yes, get him out, but... He's lasted long. Yeah, yeah he has. Well, he's, done, he's done very well for the group. In yeah. the task, and, you know, sorting out, God, that first, for, sorting out that first week of bullshit. For somebody in his position, the things that they've had him do and the costumes he's put on, you wouldn't get fucking Tony Blair doing that. I just like punching Preston in that, in that suit. I keep forgetting it. You don't too. like him in that suit, do you? It makes me furious. <laughs> and his posture, and he looks really sneaky and sly in that suit. Hey. In the diary room. What did you have to do? Just let's talk to Big Brother and I was just asking about me and Preston, how I felt about being nominated, how he felt about not being nominated, the fact that we don't fancy each other and that we're not a couple. The You're moving kidding. house, huh? You're kidding? No. For an hour. Is that all we've been? Preston. Why were they grilling you about each other in there? Because I think we're... Because of fucking what you said, isn't it? What did I say? Don't blame me. And I was just saying, how do I feel about being nominated and him not and... Mind you, you were there a long time before, weren't you? Hmm? You were there a long time before. Mm. Yeah. Which voice so, was so it? Man or a woman? Girl. <laughs> you had to say you were a couple. Yeah. And you didn't fancy each other. Yeah. yeah. You were fucking, you took a bit far anyway. What's your name? Simple like, no, I don't fancy him, would have been fine. Oh, Should no, not but oh, I don't fancy her, but she fancies me. <laughs> that went down well, didn't it? So I had to sit there for about half an hour convincing that I didn't. Well, hopefully the broadcaster, you can save your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This is a trick. Why? 
It's a check you two are up to something. All right. It's it's 20, £1.20 in here, according to that. So that would be the same colour, the part. It's 28. Pete, we ain't up to anything. We ain't, honestly. 82, I swear. 86, I swear. It was scales. I swear, I swear on your mum's life. Pearls are 10. Pete, I don't want to swear anymore. I'm not talking about anything. But them scales. £1. We've got nothing to do with scales. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, well, let's see, it's over. I think you're fucking up to 100. Sorry. There's yeah. nothing going on, Pete. Just, can we just count up to 100? It's not that fucking difficult. I know I'm being a pain in the ass, but can I ask people to try and be quiet? Because it's impossible yeah, to count when everyone's still out. Add them up. Yeah. That. <laughs> There's 99p way back. There's a penny up. That's 99p. No. That's one pound, man. Eh? It's one pound. You're fucking wrong. Because when I took this penny out, I dropped four pence in. Well, it's what it... well, either one of you is a retard and can't read the scales, or there's something wrong with the scales. Oh, no, I'm not a retard. So, can we have a look? Are we allowed to go around and have a look? Hey, we're not looking. You're up to something. I fucking know oh, you're please, up to something. Please. He looks sneaky and you're sweating and laughing. I'm you're not up to sweating. something. Uh -oh. Check. Check. £1.20. There's a check in this. That's what I know what like. Fuck's sake. There you go. I think it's ridiculous. I swear on your mother's life. Of course I do. I don't understand what you think. I was quite bothered to him. Pounds, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You'll go far. Who it's not fucking a bunch of children, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's rich. Well, it's not. We're the most mature two in here at the moment, do you know what I mean? Excuse me. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm serious. <clears throat> I'm 97. Is there something in this for you? Or you? Hey, no. Hey, well, yeah, food. Pete, and if bags. you think about it, that's probably why they're doing it. Just shush, come on, let's just get on with it. What, 92? That's you can probably why they're doing it. Give us all your conspiracies it. afterwards, right? But for now, can we just count? Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. But something went on in that diary room because you two came out in a completely different manner and the worst thing is that you could have said nothing can't talk about it but you actually manufactured a whole story we didn't manufacture I... fuck all so they went you, you were interviewed for... you were interviewed about your duo romance etc you were interviewed about yes. that yeah swear i swear yeah. swear swear and they asked you about all this shit because oh, it doesn't matter Pete. Please, it does it you swore matter. that's enough I'm for not... me it's the task in hand it is the important stuff no, it's not, because some kind yes, of plot is. went on, they know something we don't know, and I don't mind if they say can't tell you, but they came in and said they were interviewed about well, the romance. Well, I'll just let it, you know. I don't believe them. There is no romance, anyway. No, but yeah. you were interviewed by Big Brother, and you said she's a minger and this, that and the other, and she was, ah, oh. And the two of your stories didn't bind, and you were having no eye contact at all. What I'm objecting to is a lie they could have said we can't talk about it. But they came in and manufactured a story, that's where I thought I'd trip them up. I'm not a liar. You're not a liar. You Pete, tell them they interviewed chill you. Out. They interviewed you. No, because I can smell her ass. Where should I chill some out? Of it was this a is big brother. Housemates are now free to return to the house, and as the task is over, they may remove their work attire. Oh, good for that. But I do smell a couple of things going on right now. I know. I don't know where it is, but. I smell they asked like you that. about, do you fancy him, etc. They actually well, obviously did. some of it was about the tars, not the whole time. But they did actually look, at, look at this. Yes. Look at you, look at you. The little Wait, right, can I just say one thing? They said, do you fancy him? <laughs> yeah. And you said, no, and they asked to him, do you fancy him in the diary room? Yes. And you weren't drinking in the diary room? And I was, I was drinking, was, I was drinking. You smelled of a cigar when you walked in. I could smell a cigar. Did I? Yeah. I've been, I've been sitting next to you, haven't I? No, yeah. it came out of your mouth. I smell the cigar. Oh, Pete. Sorry. Chanto, ignore it. Come on, I can't look. Go on. Bit. I am speechless. Why? That she would look you right in the eye and elaborate. Don't, if you can't tell the truth, don't tell a lie. But she's got to. You can avoid the truth. You don't have to tell a manufactured yeah, lie and knit yourself further into it. Yeah. Look. I don't object to them sticking to it. What I object to is them making a bigger and a bigger and a Why? bigger lie. But There's what? a difference between a lie and avoiding the truth, and they've they... manufactured a whole story. It has come to the diary room. The game's getting more ferocious now, and it is only a game, and it's not that I'm judging them.
for a real life thing, but they don't seem to know a difference between a lie and avoidance of the truth. They're manufacturing a whole story and situation, and it just seems really desperate. They could have achieved the same result by saying, were the directors not allowed to discuss anything? Pete, do you think you're behaving like a real banker? <laughs> Well, I'm certainly not dressed like a real banker, but I think you're reducing us to behaving like real wankers. In fact, that was the best question you've asked in the whole time I've been in here. Two more tasks tomorrow. Yeah. Of which you're directors. Huh? Of which you're the directors. Of which we're the directors. I'd strongly advise you if any of the equipments or any of the things that we need to use to complete the task is malfunctioning and the task seems impossible in the interest of you getting the six... Yeah, before we do it... But you could have suggested that to us at the time. No, you're the directors. The director... If I was working with a director who didn't cover those grounds, I'd fire him right away. Well, I probably ain't fixed with a director. I didn't, we didn't put ourselves forward. We was... No, when you really take good. on the task, you work out exactly but what I don't, that... If I take on the task, I don't, I don't say I'm a professional director. Let's not start at all, No. Right, tomorrow, when the next task comes up, we'll all agree that we're happy with the equipment and everything that we're doing, yeah? Well, I don't think me or all Chantel have got a future in my bank directing, Pete. I'm not trying to suggest that for a second. With the industry you're in, you should learn to be thorough about things like that. You'll end up Well, I've got an accountant off. for that. Yeah, but this ain't real life. What are you rolling your eyes at? There's no way they could have told anyway whether the equipment was malfunctioning. How could they? All I did was put the bags on the scale, said what it said. If, as I suspect, it was randomly programmed <laughs> to be right and wrong and right and wrong. Which it seemed to be. That seemed yeah, to be the pattern. Because they went and said to Big Brother, is this malfunctioning? I swear, I put a bag on, I read the number, and then that I said it out loud. That's all I was doing. Yeah, but surely, right, Big Brother, between six pounds a head and one pound a head, they'd want us to have one pound a head, because that obviously... Well, I don't know. Like... Stressful shopping, you know, yeah. everyone's not going to get what they want. We're all going to be hungry, we're all going to be stressed out, we're all going to be arguing. That's you should look to the want. wording So they the give us a task that, like that is impossible to get 70% of that. When the scales are noting out, we're giving probably more or less every bag back to people. It's taking more time, so you're not going to get 70% done, have you, are you? So even if the scales were right... Oh, so we've had a... No, no. You could possibly have counted 70%. No, I don't either. But then even if the scales were right, the fact there was a discrepancy in the currency... So, right. obviously, they're not playing by the rules, the fact they put in other... I think that's right, yeah. No, that there. isn't. That, that's and it. they want to create division amongst us. And it worked, Pete. Well, it yes. worked. That's what they've been doing for three weeks. Oh, Pete, can't we all just get along, eh? Stop oh, hugging me like that, along. your girlfriend will get jealous. Can't we just get along, Pete? No, because I thought, give me a cigarette now. I ain't got any. You bastard. I've got nicotine withdrawal, so I'm psychotic. Dennis, Tracy and Pete are at the seating area. Well, I'm willing to drop it because Chantelle's digging herself deeper and deeper into a hole. I might as well give it a spade and at this rate she'll be ordering chop suey in China tomorrow. Their hands are shaking like leaves. <clears throat> And he keeps coming up and physically hugging me and putting his arms around me and getting smoochy, which makes me want to hail chunks. Because <laughs> he thinks if I think he's, he's like, flirty with me, that I'll lay off. Mm. I'd use him as dental floss. He's a little whore. Maggot, Pete and George are at the dining table. So what, what was... OK, George, what do you think tonight was about? It'll be about a number of things. One of them is mm. Preston's hypocrisy and getting all indignant about me yesterday and then sucking on a fat cigar, you know. <laughs> in, a gentleman's, uh, in a gentleman's club and battering down the drink and then coming out and with great aplomb lying about it. And uh, a second dynamic may be the romance. Is there or is there not? Will they, won't they? Which is why I believe he started the romance in the first place. Oh, it's a car crash. <laughs> it's a car crash. Oof. I think everyone's at the stage now where people are, you know, are slightly frazzled. And we are absolutely frazzled. And, and people are certainly feeling the strain. And, mm. One thing I worry about, and I don't know, call me soft or whatever, and it's probably because of my... Call you Welsh. Call me Welsh, there we are. 
<laughs> and it's probably because of my reaction when I saw George Preston on the screen the other night, is, is the fact that if we see them in there and they talk about people... Individually. Individually, and we're watching them. We're going to blow. And then, that, that, see, that causes friction in itself and that causes divide and, and resentment. But they are going to do There's that. There's already divide and already resentments. The, w the only thing to worry about in that, Maggot, is that some of us give it away yeah. in our performance. Oh, sure, and that's another... And that brings everything down. Mm. There's no wishing away or willing away the divisions and resentments, and there's only a few days to go. Yeah, absolutely. So they're going to intensify. I don't think you can bury your head in the sand no. to those things. You it's know, idealistic to You think don't think I'm ever going yeah. to forget having my rights taken away from me yesterday. I'm well, not. Because if, if I get the chance to repay those who took my rights away, I will.